Yo, if you score on me and you watch that replay, it's done. Don't do I'ma it. I'ma hit you with like a hundred drag backs. I'ma park the bus. We gonna hold the ball all day and have a lovely old time. No cap. I can run the game in sandals. Bow. No long talk, no ramble. Bow. If I score once, it's done. I'ma hold the ball, you won't have fun. Boom, 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 boom. Pass around the back, no shame. Bow. It's more than just a game. Bow. If you promise me elite, I'ma sell my mom's soul today. Bow. Gold one, gold one, all I hit is gold one. All I had is gold one, gold one, I'm stuck in gold one. All I had is gold one, gold one, I can't hit elite three. You can never see me in elite. No. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, One Star Week for the We Are Back for another episode of the Broke Boy Road to Glory. And we got a lot of catching up to do. I mean, it's been about a week since the last episode. But the funny thing is, there actually isn't that much to catch up on. I mean, I've been slacking really hard on this account um i think last episode i left you guys off on will i qualify for the weekend league and i'm gonna show you right now we did not qualify for the weekend league i think i had to get 800 points on friday to qualify i just i didn't do it um it is what it is um i was trying to grind for fernandez bruno fernandez um on friday i was trying to grind for mendy in order to get the points for the weekend league but it just wasn't to be so i figured i was gonna take this weekend off take this weekend to focus on doing objectives stuff like that and speaking of objectives i mean ea did drop a couple objectives uh this weekend for summer heat we got him babu who looks like possibly the best right back on the game i mean it's pretty much team of the season and babu vibes from fifa 19 all over again the only issue is how do you link a card like this without a kanji um without a bundesliga team it's gonna be very difficult we also got pope the five star scaling um goalkeeper is back um and we got ibrahimovic still to unlock on this account um i've been slacking on these objectives as well i mean i got bruno fernandez's 91 card uh i'm gonna be working towards a 94 after using him on people's account though i'm not really a big fan of this bruno fernandez card i think i'm gonna submit all of them into sbc's to be honest um we also got mendy i'm still working on getting the 87 that's how much <laughs> i've been slacking on this account i mean i've been busy in real life um fifa's been exhausting me so i've been taking um a bit of a break everything like that let me know in the comment section down below though which objectives have you done which players have you enjoyed using so next we're gonna look at the sbcs that ea has dropped i mean they got the 88 upgrade and i was gonna show you what i got because you get 588 rated players but i might as well tell you because it was nothing crazy i got 488s and i got scream tony cruz and of course i did that sbc knowing full well i wasn't gonna get anything to submit him into the one the only sbc or summer heat dembele this was the card i was telling everybody to vote for this was the card i was waiting for all promo and he is here um 93 rated usman dembele and of course as you guys know from the thumbnail this is who we're going to be talking about today all right uh so when you look at this card he's very comparable to um the ribbery that they did drop yesterday really we're going to be seeing is he better because he's about 200,000 coins more he does boast better links he does have the central position so that might be why um so when you look at this card it looks insane all right he's five for ten he has high medium work rates he's left footed but of course he doesn't even know the weak foot is he also has five star skill moves um i played three games in division rivals with him i got five goals and one assist before we go any further if you're enjoying the content if you want more player reviews do me a favor hit the like button down below and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing to the channel i appreciate all you guys that's still watching my videos that's still rocking with the channel in july i mean you guys deserve a round of applause so when you look at this card he looks very similar eerily similar to headliners neymar is he gonna compare because headliners neymar is over two million coins um this dembele is about one million so are you getting a discounted neymar or are you getting an overpriced ribbery way look at the pace i mean it's all there of course his shooting stats are much upgraded his passing and dribbling stats are insane even his physical stats look decent there's a couple question marks here though all right the 87 reactions i'm not a fan of that um the 85 stamina um looks very mediocre i mean earlier in the game 85 stamina would be amazing at this stage of the game is it going to be an issue if you want to play him um on the wing it might just be but centrally we're gonna see um so yeah without further ado i'm gonna jump into the gameplay i'm gonna let you guys know how this dembele card is 
in the 4-4-2 at the striker position. Let's go. All right, guys. So according to Footbin, this Dembele card is going to be costing you 990,000 coins to complete the SBC. Is he worth it? Going into the SBC, I was skeptical. I mean, a million coins for a card like this. I wasn't sure about it looking at the stats, but after trying him in game, and it only took three games for me to make a decision, I think he is absolutely a go. I, I do think he's better than Ribery. We're gonna break down the stats though, so you know exactly what to expect. So we're gonna talk about his pace. He has 99 pace and he is by far one of the fastest players I have used on this game. He has that Mbappe level pace. His acceleration and sprint speed are maxed out. You don't even gotta touch it with a chem style. And I think what makes him special, what makes him better than players like Ribery is the way he explodes out of the skill moves. I haven't really used that many players on this game that just explode out of the skill move like he does. Um, Team of the Season Ronaldo is one of them. Um, Foot Birthday Mbappe is another. There are certain cards on this game that have the skills and just explode out of them. He's one of them. Because of his 98 sprint speed, he's gonna beat the defensive line and stay in behind every single time. Overall, this guy's pace is a 10 out of 10. This guy is a monster. Next, we're gonna talk about shooting, all right? Um, and we're gonna talk about a few things here. Number one is his attack positioning. It is 90, which I boosted to 99 with the Deadeye Chem style and end game. He is difficult to contain. And I say this about every single card with high pace and high attack positioning. This guy was positioning himself in very, very good areas. He was always on the last man, always looking to make a run, always hungry to attack and it was very very nice his finishing is 92 um he has the five star weak foot he has the shot power at 96 i mean of course all of these stats are boosted to 99 with the um dead eye cam style in game he had a very very reliable finish inside the box outside the box i mean every time i hit it on target from a good angle that thing was beating the keeper every single time and he doesn't even have any shooting stats i'm not sure what it is but the way his animation lets the shot off it gives him that extra angle it gives him the extra amount of space to, to finish and uh, I, I noticed he had a very consistent finish um his volleys penalties all of those things are very solid as well overall this guy's shot is a 9.5 out of 10 he is a very reliable finisher and of course the five star weak foot's gonna help him out in spades next we'll talk about his passing and yeah i think he's a very very good playmaker um, on this game if you want to play him at the camp position like his card is positioned i think it's going to be work out very well for you he has 88 vision 93 uh, short passing 93 curve and he was a very reliable passer i could rely on him to grab the ball bring other players into the game i could rely on him to tiki to taka to build a play to link up play he was very very nice at that and that does suit him well in the central positions because i play him at the striker position um in a 4-4 too. And part of his role in this position is to bring other players into the game, to, to, to link up play, to hold the ball up until other players could uh, come around and he could lay it off to them. He was very, very good at that. Overall, this guy's passing is much improved on his other versions, and I got to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Next, we're going to talk about dribbling. And yo, I know his stats are maxed out almost, but yo, this guy's dribbling is insane. This guy has the same dribbling as headliners Neymar. He has probably one of the best dribbling um, cards I have used on this game. And I was saying that about Ribery yesterday, but this Dembele is a cut above. I'm not sure what it is because stat-wise, they're very similar. Um, Body-wise, I would even say Ribery is smaller. He should be more agile, but this Dembele card is slimy. He's slippery, but at the same time, he's sticky. He is so, so hard to dispossess. Some of the stuff I was pulling off with this card was absolutely filthy. It made me feel like I was DH Tex. It made me feel like I was R9 Rye. I was feeling myself when I was using this card. Left stick dribbling, skilling, everything he has in his arsenal, he, he executes at such a high level. He dribbles, in my opinion, just as good as Team of the Season Neymar. His agility and balance means that he's responsive, very reactive on the ball. He's very um, good as far as close control dribbling. He keeps the ball very close to his body with his 99 dribbling. And of course, with his 92 composure, he makes love to pressure. Overall, this guy's dribbling is a 10 out of 10. It is by far the best and most impactful feature of this card. Finally, we will be talking about his physical and the elephant in the room does uh, stay here. His 85 stamina, how does it affect him? And in game, I thought it was fine. I did play him at the striker position. I think even if you play him out wide, he should be fine all game. Um, but I do suggest playing him at striker so he does guarantee uh, last all game he has decent strength and aggression it does help him with his um stickiness it does help him retain possession in these tight areas in the delayed gameplay um so overall i gotta give this guy's physical a 7.5 out of 10 it's good enough for the player he is 
All right, guys, so what's the final verdict on this card? I think um, when you look at my team, I was using this card with a lot of expensive players, um, and he was the best card um, on my team by far. Just the most impactful card. He has everything to suit the meta. I mean, of course, he has the five-star, five-star combination. His pace is blistering. His dribbling is a cut above any other player on my team, and his finishing and passing means that he has a lot of end product to him. At first, I thought that one million coins was a ripoff, but after trying him, I understand the hype. I'm a full believer. I am a... Uh, a member of the Church of Dembele. Overall, I gotta give him a 9.75 out of 10. I do think he's a must unlock, and if you don't unlock him, I mean, I don't know what you're doing. All right, guys, so that's gonna be my Dembele review. Let me know in the comment section down below, have you tried this card? Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode, but until then, later.